passion, yeah. Ooh, I got a passion in my soul. Passion, yeah. Ooh, I got a passion in my soul. P. P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P is for passionate poets. Powerful prophetic wordsmiths whose prolific points positively penetrate your persona, sending you to realms you've never seen before, never been before. Specific streams of wordplay send spasms up your spinal cord, sparking feel-good factors. Signaling smiles while shocking some. Yo, believe me, see, spoken words been in the long run before the run got long. Setting the foundation for all vocal expression like the sound of the African drum, it is the alpha and omega. Tell me, how are you going to sing that song or spit them lyrics without the poet words to write it? See, poets take it back to the basics, sharing their thoughts not for entertainment but your edutainment. Whether you under, inner, outer, over, whatever, just stand this. Know this has been waiting for a long time, not just of recognition, but for your decision to be part of this here movement. See, if you can't stand reading it, hear it. And if your ears are blocked, visualize it. And if your eyes are closed, yo, just feel it. Said the warmth of words, weaved of wisdom, washing over you like a baptism, empowering, exciting individuals, igniting intellect, no longer ignorant. See, like Amanoir said, Quote it. That's why, right, peeps, you should know it. Each and every word that speaks to your spirit in embedded in that muscle called brain, because it helped keep you sane. Lock it in that dome, yeah, take it home. Pump it in your stereos, yo, the CDs here, they ain't just for show. Because poets pang for profit. Spitting lyrics for free, dum da dum dum. Yo, hear me. You see, a real poet's passion don't change like fashion. It burns fire upon Babylon and burns bright and strong. Builds up nations, analyzes situations, meets with proactive solutions, takes heed to not add to the pollution. Challenges the system, rethinks the curriculum, steams the food to keep the vitamins in them. I said, P is for passionate poets. Powerful prophetic wordsmiths whose prolific points positively penetrate your persona. And you see me, Floetic Lara. I'm a poet who writes your mother and father. Yeah, your sister and brother, but firstly, I write for the younger. The paradox of the most clever yet slightly dumber. You see, it seems it's time for us to feed us some solid food. Me? Now, nah, boss, I will never abuse the position of authority that music gives me. You see, there's already too many fools in this industry about your P.I.M.P. You got shot nine times, though, well, aren't you lucky? <laughs> I'm not sorry. See, you just have to excuse me. See, poets love sparkle like a controversy. Some poets, some poets like to talk about the beauty of the night skies and the beauty of some dude's eyes, and that's all well and good. But me, I prefer to talk about what's going on in the hood. Why is it my brother's got to work twice as hard for a job that's half as good? He's done got his masters, yet the dude with the blue eyes still reach the top fastest. And I'm in classrooms of educated fools, supposedly teaching me the ground rules, where the simple ability to communicate seems to be one of the less blessed traits. So all in all, I don't really get much out of their so-called school. In fact, to be totally honest, most of it's whack. See, I care not for your MAs, your BAs, or your BSEs. History lessons, they don't include me. Music theory that tries to exclude these. Soul piss and sounds of jazz harmony. And then has the downright audacity to tell me how the lady sings the blues. <laughs> Listen, the blues, it came from hardship. A real sense of loss. It came before the sunshine at a pretty expensive cost. For before the sunshine and the beauty of the rainbow, first came the downpour and quite a bit of shadow. See, foreign blood ran in streams in a foreign man's land, and foreign man would hang on foreign land trees as they starved pregnant women and induced others with their seeds, made maids of the most motherly, and on the crumbs they would feed. Yet still, at night they met and read the words that kept them strong. The world does not know you, but for you I sent my son. So they sang their songs of praise and looked forward to brighter days. And they sang their songs of blues. <laughs> for the way they felt, they couldn't choose. Yet through trials and tribulations, the storytellers kept telling on. And as they filled their bags with cotton, they stood strong and sang their song. 
Now as a passionate poet, I tell it as I know it, as I see it, as I feel it, as I believe it's the poet's job to teach it, preach it, see our history can no longer be a mystery because too many live in ignorance and claim they can't see. So if you can't stand reading it, hear it. And if your ears are blocked, visualize it. And if your eyes are closed, yo, just feel it. Said the warmth of words weaved with wisdom washing over you like a baptism empowering excited individuals igniting intellects no longer ignorant. See the pace of my poetry has reached its peak. Pounding palpitations of productivity at points seem pointless though I project these parables with purpose painstakingly pouring out my condiments on paper. Surely someday they'll realise that that powerful prophetic wordsmith whose prolific points positively penetrate your persona is none other than me, Floetic Lara. For what I have seen in my history <laughs> and what I see in my destiny makes me know that I have to be a passionate poet. Poet, poet, poet. Thank you. One more time for Floetic Lara, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely.